Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to be discussing um, the technique for removing a vast free antivirus. All right. All right. The first way we're just going to go and um, the first approach, we're just going to just use the traditional uh, programs and features. All right. Uh, the second approach, we're going to use a more aggressive uh, uh, means of uh, removing it. Okay. All right. So for the first removal, we would typically just go to uh, programs and features, which would uh, involve just going to the start button, uh, which is the Perl. And then go to the control panel. And once in the control panel in the upper right, set your view by, set it to category, category view. All right. Next, go down to underneath programs and click on uninstall a program. All right. Once your list of programs is displayed, just simply click Avast Free Antivirus and then click uninstall above. All right. And then from here, what you would actually do is click the uninstall in the lower left and then continue all right now if this technique does not work for you if you still have trouble removing uh, a vast free antivirus all right we're gonna take the good we're gonna go with plan B here now all right plan B involves a removal tool so we're gonna open open a web browser all right what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna go to Google all right, what we're going to type in, what I'm going to type in is I'm going to type in a vast clear. Okay. Now, the first result, all right, you'll see is uh, it's uh, a vast uninstall utility. This is actually where we want to go. All right. Now, make sure that it is at a vast.com. Okay. Make sure the domain is a vast domain. All right. Uh, avoid going to um, uh, other questionable domains because uh, their removal utilities might actually be something malicious. All right, so we're going to go to avast.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash uninstall hyphen utility. Okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and click on that link. All right, once the page opens, I'm going to go ahead and click right here on the download, download avast clear exe on your desktop. All right, so we're going to go ahead and download that. All right, once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and move the utility. Oops, my bad. Sorry, I actually didn't mean to actually start that. Here, let's just cancel that. What I meant to do was actually simply show it in the folder, which was my mistake. I'm going to close a vast. All right, okay, so we're just going to move a vast clear here, all right? Okay, now what we're going to do at this time. We're going to go ahead and restart the system into safe mode. So let's just go ahead and restart. And we'll give this system a second to restart. Uh, now starting the system in safe mode is simply just pressing the function F8 key uh, at the right system reboot. I'm going to start pressing it now. All right. Okay. And then I'm just going to select safe mode using the arrow keys and press enter. We'll give this just a minute or two to start up. Now this is a virtual machine, uh, so it's it's actually astonishingly it's it's moving just a little bit slower than a physical machine would at this particular time but like I said it shouldn't take much longer on the on the um, safe mode uh, um, load okay making some progress okay all right now we have our little <laughs> itty bitty tiny screen now yours instead of being real small yours is probably going to be large and the icons are going to be, going to be real large alright so that's that's normal in safe mode alright so we're going to go to the upper right and close this windows help and support get it out of the way alright and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this vast clear that we downloaded before I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select run as administrator alright then I'm going to click on alright it's alright we're double checking pass here uh, let's see all right, typical uh, typical installation path is going to be program files uh, backslash avast software backslash avast. Okay, and let's see, this is typical. 
unless of course yours has actually been moved. If it has, you're going to you're going to want to uh, click on Browse and actually locate your files. But let's just browse through here real quick, just so you see. Avast software, Avast. All right, this is typical here. Okay, so all right, and then select the version you have installed. All right. Now, if you're not sure which version you have, just leave this unchanged. All right. All right. Then we're going to click on Continue in the lower right. And we're going to wait for the uninstall to continue here with this little tiny screen. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the Restart Computer. All right. This time we're going to let the system start up normally. So we're not going to be pressing any keys. another minute to start up <clears throat> okay all right now let's start it up I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a vast clear to remove a utility on the desktop all right and just in case I'm gonna let's just check the start menu and make sure everything of vast related is gone okay looks good there and I'm going to double check the installation directory if you don't have the computer icon on your desktop, just go ahead and go to the Perl and then click on computer. And then I'm gonna go to local disk C and then program files. And let's see, a vast is actually gone. All right, so, all right, so that's it. Uh, that's That basically covers uh, two techniques to remove uh, a vast uh, free antivirus.